So with question number 13, we enter into section 3 and here you need to report the answer in terms of integer and to the most, two digits after decimal is allowed. Now let's see, what does it say? There is a spherical bubble of radius r, the pressure inside and outside is p naught. that means the surface tension is neglected and this bubble now gets compressed radially in an adiabatic manner and the new radius is r minus a with the given condition. a is very very much less than capital R indicating it is an infinitesimal compression. We need to compute work done and equate with this and eventually we need to find the value of x. Now this is an elementary work done. So how much will be the expression? PDV, the elementary work done. And how much will be dv? 4 pi r square multiplied by dr. That is what the elementary work done is. And now you could see the original pressure is P0 into 4 pi r square, the decrease in radius that of course is equal to A and that is the work done. And if you compare with this particular thing, the value of x comes out to be 1. So 1 would be the correct integer for this. 14th, let us see. Now 14th is also a beautiful one from current electricity. In the balance condition, the values of resistances of the 4 amps are as shown. So this is 60, 300, 100, 500. So 1 is to 5, 1 is to 5. It is a perfect balance with stone condition. Now what does it say? Let us try to understand here. The resistance R3 has temperature coefficient. So the alpha is given there and the temperature has been increased by 100 degree. Now we need to calculate the voltage developed between S and T. So here we will be taking the voltmeter to be ideal because that is the only option we have other information about the voltmeter has not been given. Now see, initially what is the potential difference between point S and Q? I will just concentrate about S and Q. Now you could see this 50 volt is in series with 60 and 300. So the original value of potential difference between S and Q, let me call as V, that is equal to 50 into 300 divided by 360. So that is a simple voltage division. Now this is going to be equals to 250 divided by 6. All right, further you can write it as 125 divided by 3 volt. So that is the initial potential difference between S and Q. And the same potential difference is also there between T and Q. Now this changes the value of resistance, but the potential difference between T, Q would still be the same. You agree with that? So what would be the reading of the voltmeter? Simply the change in potential difference across SQ will be the reading of the voltmeter. Think in this way because originally this potential minus this potential that was 0. Now this is still the same, this changes. So if you subtract basically it is only the change in potential difference across R3 is the reading of the voltmeter. So how can I calculate that in an easier way? I will do something like this. The potential difference across this, let me write it in terms of variable now. That will be 50 multiplied by R. Let me call this as R because this is variable divided by R plus of 60. Now what I will do is that let me take log both side. So I will have natural log V is natural log 50 plus natural log R minus natural log R plus 60. All right. And then let me go for the derivative. So this is going to be dV by V that is 0. This will be dr by r and this is going to be minus of dr by r plus of 
60. That's a straightforward one, where the value of dr is alpha r d theta. That's what you can see. And now you can easily see the values are given, the alpha is given, the change in temperature is given, and all you need to do is that calculate the value of dv, even v original is there, and that value will come out to be 0 0.27. That's the correct integer for this question. Let's go to the next. The next question, there are two capacitors C1, C2 with the given error limit. They are connected in series. Voltage applied is also given. We need to calculate the percentage error in calculation of energy. So this will be divided into two steps. First of all, 1 by C is 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 and you can easily calculate the value of C. That's no problem. Now after that, what I can do is that dc divided by c square will be dc1 by c1 square plus dc2 by c2 square. And all those values are also given. Like c1 is 2000, dc1 is 10, c2 3000, dc2 is 15. That means now you can calculate the value of dc by c and that's going to give us the fractional change in capacitance or the fractional error, whatever you call, that's equivalent. Now, talking about the energy, if I see the value of energy is one half of CV square and this further will give me du by u is dc by c plus of twice dv by v. So, all set, everything is there. So, you can now calculate because dv is this much, v is there, dc by c can be calculated from here. You do that, the percentage error would be 1.3. Okay, now let's go to the next one. 